Welcome back to my show. I'm The Beer Adventure. And I'm Lunchbox. And this episode, Devil's Backbone, Vienna Lager. Um, Devil's Backbone? Yeah. Sounds wicked. Exactly. Um, these guys are, uh, it's a 5.2% alcohol. Uh, you know, that, that, but it's a Vienna Lager. It's not supposed to be like some punch in the head. Vienna Lager sounds fancy. Yeah. Um, it, uh, it's going to be... You know, a nice amber. Look at that. That is a very rich color. Um, yeah. I must say. I'm into this. I beer. must say. Um, Devil's Backbone's kind of new to this. For our audience over there. Oh, I sure didn't. You know what? Let's see. We do have a studio audience today. We'll both share because I wasn't paying attention. I share with it all the time. Oh, I understand. Mm. And once again, uh, we don't always use proper glassware. We use what you can see. Um, I like it. It's got a nice little head. You know, this is going to be something more of a maltier beer. Uh, Vienna style lager will be. I don't smell it like I usually do on a malty one. Well, honestly, this glass is not great for the smell. But it's great for showing off color. Mm. Yeah, that's a good beer. I like that. Uh, this is a very it's smooth, not too sweet. rich. It's it is got that sweet. little caramel thing on it, but it's not like just overly. Yeah, it's not pungent or anything. Oh no. Um, it's and it's not a malt bomb. It's malty. Yeah, uh, kinda. I mean, it's got that 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 rich tongue grab thing. Yeah. That that it's malt very does. smooth. I like it. I, I do. I, I'm a Vienna Lager fan, though. Um, it's a pretty old style, and it like was big and it falls out of favor and then it gets popular and it falls out of favor and it gets popular and falls out of favor and it's starting to make its way back again um one of the things that's neat about a vienna lager is the austrians um uh, kind of governed mexico for a while what so a couple of the mexican beers that you'll find that are red are vienna style lagers oh really so you know, not that, all Mexican beers are Corona. Um, matter of fact, most aren't like that. Um, but like I said, because I'm trying to think of one, is that Victoria like that? Yes, Victoria yeah. is a Vienna That's style. Uh, see, <laughs> history lesson. <laughs> all the adventure comes here. That explains. Um, a lot. Yeah, but that's that's why there's there's a lot of Mexican style lagers. I like that, that are Vienna lagers or like derivative that. of Vienna lager. I like that co that color. That's exactly what that thing tastes like. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, it is a very rich beer. It is very rich. And it, it plays on your tongue real good too. Like while it's there, it it, uh, it goes away quick because of that. It's malt. very silky. But while it's on your tongue, it's it. it it's doing things. Yeah. I like it. Um, and I found it first in, in our market in bottles and draft. And then I spotted some of the cans and seen my videos. I like cans. Um, partly because uh, being a graphic designer for a long time, I like the can art. And, you know, cans are better for environment, blah, 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 blah. They are. They're neat. But the other thing is a lot of times you can do like I did and... Just pick up a couple cans for a couple bucks. Uh, yep. Which are pretty nice. And, you know. You're more of the reuse instead of recycle, though. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he, like, makes all kinds of little art, art projects. Yeah. This has got some fancy artwork on it, too. It does. I like that. It. It's pretty. And, uh, I don't know. Like, overall, I think it's, it's just a it, the full-bodiedness. But there's nothing harsh at all like it's super smooth it is 
um, and I was expecting it to not be with um, as sweet as it is. Uh, I expected that to stick around a lot longer, like a mm -hmm. lot of sweet ones do, and it doesn't. It's just kind of gone. Um, I mean, you still get the that regular malt after, but it's not a even that's not like overpowering or anything. It's just kind of it's a very pleasurable. And for any of the uh, hop haters out there, because I know a lot of people just can't handle that hoppy note after. There's no discernible like hop grab you. I think that's what's playing on your tongue while you're holding it in it your is. mouth. But like as soon as you swallow it, that's gone. Uh, because all and that's kind of neat too. All that's... beers going to have hops in it, but it's those beers that have had the hops, like when they've been. Uh, it's where the hops are added when it's being made. So that hoppy aftertaste that a lot of people don't like, completely not here at all. No. Um, I'm not entirely sure how true to a Vienna style lager, like perfect to the prototype style. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, well, let's do that in one. Let's find the the prototype. Yeah, yeah we should. The epitome of, um, of the Vienna style lager. But I have a feeling this one's relatively close and it's pretty damn tasty. I dig it. I like this one. I like this one a lot. So what do you think about it? Um, mm. You know, I guess we get down to it. Yeah. Did you dig it? I dug it. Yes. I loved it. I did too. It was great. Uh, would you have more? I'll have all you have. <laughs> brought with you. Did you bring any more with you? Uh, no, that was one. Yeah, I'd have one. another one of these. Um, I'd even buy a six pack of this. This is a good drinking beer. And it's not terribly expensive in our market. I don't know about a six pack, but I'd put two or three of them in a, in a, in a pick six. I'd yeah. put more than one in a pick six if I was doing that. Um, this is also a very good beer to share because... Oh, yeah. This is one of those that you want to show to somebody. Like, oh, man, check this out. This is really good. This is... Well, the other thing is, is a lot of beer drinkers, we like to introduce our friends to another beer. Well, this is that picky beer drinker. I don't really like beer that much. They'll enjoy this one. So, um, I guess we get to the one to ten. What's this looking like? This is a seven all day long. Um, the honestly, to me, it's almost. I think yeah, it's an eight for one extra thing that kind of pushed it over the edge for me. It is a uh, something I don't use on a lot of beers. It's the uh, poundability. The poundability. <laughs> um, I don't know if I would want to pound a bunch of that, but it would. Um, this is a beer I could probably drink all day long. Well, I could see. Yeah, like I said, I'd want to drink more than one, but I don't know. After about the third one, I wouldn't want any more of this. One. But that's just me. You know, um, I want to. I want to switch it up. But this one, it worked well with food or just. Oh man, this this would be a really good meal. Yeah. Beer. That's what I'm saying. Like I could drink this all day long. You know, between meals, during meal. Um, it's not even at a point where you couldn't, like, you could do yard work on this beer. You could watch a movie with this beer. It, it's a very versatile beer, I think. Like like I'm saying, it's an all-day beer. This would make a good movie beer. Yes, it would. Um, well, there you go, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.